what's up homies it's a boy black hair today and uh today i'm actually showing you guys a new game that is currently in beta so if you would like you can definitely play this today i will have the link in the description to the facebook group to download it but um this game is called titan now it is kind of similar to uh, lios you know last album or survival on mission evo like those games that i played before and i must say this is it just really brought that feeling back because you know since mission evo been gone you know i haven't went back to lios so i kind of been having that need to you know just play game as such and this fills that void perfectly so um right now i'm um, on the map the warzone map now this is the the main map that you will be looting on and fighting people pvp and doing all sorts of things like that you know and um this right now is my temporary base and um it's about five hours and four minutes till the end of this light so um now the point is to loot you know all these points so i'll show you guys the map again real quick so loot all of these points so like the military base the uh the beta the mountain church the bay these are all points of interest that you go to to get some valuable loot and um also what i like about it too when you click on them it shows you what uh keys is needed so here at military it has the green it has the purple and it also has the gold which is the absolute best you can get and with that loot you would bring back to your base obviously and you would decontaminate it and then after decontaminating it you will bring it back to your island so first thing i just want to show you guys my base real fast um this is a, a familiar build if you guys are familiar with the chaster build that i did in lios this is a build i just decided to do and honestly i didn't even plan on playing this wipe like that i was just gonna just like pop in and pop out but then as soon as i start playing i just got addicted so yeah so um this is my first wipe but yeah so i got a turret set up uh, over here and it's just a easy raid two by two and i must say there's some people who actually <laughs> try to raid me but then i guess it was more difficult for them because of my turrets and i'm looking for a base to raid duality oh shit We should try to raid this one. Holy shit, I die! Whoa. And then he knew I was online too, so it was kind of funny. But more than enough, this server was pretty peaceful. And, um,. So these are the uh, facility options. Oh, I forgot to show you the first one. So this right here is the uh, the ammo. You can uh, replenish your ammo. You know, so when when you die, it's not like LIOS. Like you will drop, you know, your nine millimeter ammo. Like your ammo is pretty much like always with you. Like the minute you equip the gun, that is when you'll see the ammo on the gun. And then when you need more, just go back to that, replenish it, and then you also can um like have a reserve for it so we're we're to stock reserve you would actually get charcoal sulfur powder and iron cube and iron cube um, i know that's different from like iron ore and stuff like that but um iron cube is um the smelt that you will get from smelting and that is the uh, furnace uh, this right here is my craft bench so um, as of right now this is all what i'm able to craft um, I'll probably do another video to go in detail with that, you know, in the long run. And uh, energy processor, which, you know, processes uh, energy, gas, uh, batteries. And then I have, you know, all sorts of um, loot. And this type of loot right here, like the rings and stuff, you can transport this back to your island base. And I will actually be showing you guys that too in a while. 
Um, but all this stuff right here. And they all have uh, prices. Cool. So you see like this silver ring, it's 40,000 unit price. So if I was to take this and sell it, then I would get 40,000 cur that currency, which is this uh, blue ticket that you see in the top right. Okay. And then this right here is the uh, decontaminator. So as I said, when you take it back, you have to decontaminate your loot. So you put it through here. And right now I'm decontaminating the contemptor pants because I really need to blueprint these. These are some nice looking pants. But um, it's 43 minutes left. And then after that's done, it's going to do the links. And that is two hours and 40 minutes. And this links is actually needed to um for a task operation mission to upgrade your facilities to like um, store more into this right here and I actually completed that already so I'm actually gonna bring it back so I can sell it so that's another thing that I'll be showing and uh, that's a closet but let me hear up here and then we have my smart floor which is like the TC if you will so in this uh, game it's more fair like you can't take over bases so say if you raid a person's base and then you get to this you know part right here you can destroy this and this will actually decay the base so you can't take it over but you can get to the point where you can actually destroy get their whole base destroyed you know and uh this is all you know my most important loot most valuable loot so this is like all the type of loot that you're going to want to take back to the base to get the most profit and then also oh, this card right here is a universal card. If you get this card, you can use this at any door, which is pretty cool. Uh, this little thing right here is actually to override different mechs in this game. Yes, this game has mechs. I'll uh, actually show you that too. So you go to your Pi Watch and you can like deploy them. This is my uh, Protect Drone. No. This is like the fastest mech uh, and also your first one that you will get. So I'm going to recall that and I'm going to show you guys my favorite one. And uh, this one I actually need to get some better parts and stuff for them. But um, this is my uh, Velocity Beast. Uh, this is the Velocity Beast X which is like the bigger version. And then uh, this is my favorite one right here, the Steel Quill. And then also you have I have this one right here called the Burst O2, which is like a mining type of mech. But I'll show you guys this one in person. In the they come out like that. Pretty cool, right? And um, definitely could ride them. And then also I have a, an attachment to them, which provides um, more defense. So this button right here. Now I have more defense. So if I was getting shot at, I would take uh, less damage. Well, the mech would take less damage. And it's it's been useful for me for like getaways and stuff uh, for this like. So um, let me actually recall you. And um, I'm going to show you guys my uh, base island. So, um, so as I said before, um, there will be decontaminating loot then taking bait, then taking um, loot to these extraction points. So this is kind of like a escape from Tarkov type of bag. So like once you get it decontaminated, so see here at the power plant, there's a, an extraction point. You see that little green blinky, blinky icon? So that is an extraction point. You go there and it could potentially be players there which is the game, you know, so just be careful and you can actually go there, extract your loot back to your base island. And then your base island, that is like your own, it's not your own private island, but it's a uh, island with other players, but it's a PVE type of server. So that is like the goal of uh, the game, just to get loot, you know, in this zone, bring it back to your main zone. So you can also use uh, loot for future wipes, you know? So like that loot that you bring to the PVE server, you actually keep that forever. You know, can't get raided or any of that. I mean, unless you have like a chest 
and your doors are open and you have no locks on it, then yeah, I think people could probably go through it. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, it can't get rated, you know. So um, I actually want to take. I saw. I keep saying it, but I never do it. But um, I actually want to show you guys the base island. So let me just uh, take all of this stuff off, and I will be meeting you guys over there. Voila! This is my operation base, kind of like Last Island Survival. So this is basically like the operation base. I don't know if you're familiar with that. So all the loot here is all decontaminated, you know, all important loot. And then uh, the point is to bring back that loot, uh, learn the blueprints. Uh, this is my research table, nothing in there now, but uh, you would do that. And also uh, see right here at the, sm the smart core here, it says facility upgrade. So let me click that. Now the point is when you go to those points of interest and get loot, you will get stuff like this, the EM wave deflector steel measuring tape you would use stuff like this to upgrade your facilities so like if i was to upgrade this this will upgrade my smelting facilities up to up oh, three plus so you know that that's big you know right now I, I could do two but if i was to upgrade it i'll be able to do five like furnaces you know and then same for like cooking this would uh have extra fullness upon respawn um storage give me more storage right now i could do 10 boxes but if i was upgraded again well once i get those steel nuts i'll be able to have 18 boxes which is big but yeah and uh so on and so on so for your ammo station for your turrets and uh for the hangar which is where you hold all of your your mechs okay and uh over here is where i have my shuttle so this is the shuttle. So when I want to go back to the war zone, this is where I will go to transport back to it. And also this is where I will come when I come from the war zone, when I transport the loot. And as I said, that's the uh, hangar. But yes, um, this map is a PVE map. So um, if you die, all your loot will still be in your bag, you know. And uh, also this map have similar interest points uh, like the main map. Uh, so like the beta, the military base, uh, the power plant, you know, mountain church, seaside, all the same, all the same type of monuments. So I do advise you like before you go to the war zone, get yourself familiarized, you know, with the game, um, the mechanics, uh, do the PVE, go to all these uh, different points, you know, and uh just to get familiar with it because once you get to the war zone you know it will get a little bit more trickier just when other players as you know there so just get you know highly familiar and aware of your surroundings is what i'm saying okay but um let me go back to the war zone and show you how that looks like all right so you will go back into the shuttle and up up and away And this is right here, I guess you could say this would be the loading screen right here. And see how that does that? No, I don't know if this is like traveling through like space and time when it shows that kind of background or whatever, you know. But real cool, real cool. But I've been having so much fun in this game, guys. And I've been looting so freaking much good stuff yeah, but it's like five hours left on the server i just wonder if i'm gonna actually like get rated because to show you guys i'm actually the best person but actually uh i'll show you that in a minute but um see you fall from the sky from the shuttle kind of like a, a PUBG. so you can return to your base safely Voila. home sweet home but yeah guys so that is um basically the game and then um once you bring back loots in you actually be up on the ranking and as you can see i'm number one as of right now uh four hours 50 minutes left so we'll see how long that will stay like that for second 
you know we have mr potato z you know the lios god one of my favorite creators do follow him if you're not following him at all and then you know so on and so on with uh guys who i don't even know at all you know some i made you know i've been friendly with you know but it's been a peaceful server it's been a peaceful server i haven't really been to the rifles but um yeah guys give this game a try i will um cook up some more content like i'll do some loot guides on all of the uh, boxes here power plant and you know the pit and so on and so on so i will do that so keep a lookout on that and i will be seeing you in the next one bye bye